welcome to one hour gameplay channel. Today I'll talk about gathering resources. Which resources and where to find them. What you need and where to start. But first, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like. It's not too hard and it really motivates me to make more videos like this. This video came about thanks to a player on the game's official Discord channel. They gave me an idea for a Tarisland video. So if you have any questions about Tarisland, please write them in the comments. The next video might be just for you. First, I want to say that in Tarisland there is no best or worst uh, professions. All jobs are important and they are connected in some way. For example, to make certain things in alchemy, you'll need resources from the tailoring profession and the artisan profession. So, like I have said in my streams, when you start your journey, you need to decide which profession to learn first and which resources to gather. Switching uh, professions cost money, and more importantly, it takes time. Changing some jobs have cooldowns of several days or even a week. As an example, let me tell you how I uh, like to do it, based on my experience in beta testing. You might have uh, different ideas and tasks. Uh, the main thing is to understand how it works and then figure out what you need for yourself. I enjoy improving and enchanting my gear in all games. So here. I always pick a profession that lets me do that. That's why I choose alchemy. To be able to create enchanting scrolls that are essential for gear upgrades. But like I said before, to make these scrolls I need resources from the tailoring uh, profession and the artisan profession. So I find a video on my channel about the alchemy crafting list. I'll leave a link in description and see what resources I need for these scrolls. I see that I'll need uh, herbal linen and cooper sand, but I can't gather all these resources at the same time because they some from different professions. So first I choose tailoring and gather herbal linen. Once I have let's say 50 herbal linen, I go to the city and switch to the artisan profession. I get the necessary tools and gather around 50 cooper sand. 50 is an approximate number, you might need more or less, depending on what you're doing. Maybe you'll sell these scrolls or maybe you'll use them for just for yourself. Now with these resources I can freely switch to alchemy and add the necessary flowers to create different enchanting scrolls for gear. So while I gather flowers, making scrolls and elixirs, the timer for switching between the tailoring and artisan jobs uh, professions keep, uh, uh, keeps getting shorter. This will allow me to quickly switch to these jobs if I need it to later. I'm not talking about other profession right now because I think crafting gear in the first few days is not very useful. By the time you reach level 40, which is about 5 days of playing, you'll have all the gear you need for your character from quests and dungeons. Now, I'd like to explain more about gathering resources. What you need for better resources collection, getting higher quality resources and where to find them. Let's start with the basics. In the world of Tarisland you don't have to search for each resource on the map or watch tutorial videos on where to find them. It's simpler here. Just click on a resource, go down to the source line, choose collect from the menu and that's it. You'll be teleported to the nearest portal and the marker will appear on the map where you can start gathering that resources. To gather any resource in Tarisland you'll need 3 points of vigor. One point of vigor recovers every 15 minutes, so in an hour you'll get 4 points and in a day you'll have 96 points. Vigor can only be restored by using stamina potions. Check my channel videos for where to find these potions. The link will be in the description. I hope this is clear. 
To get higher quality resources, you'll need higher quality tools. These tools can uh, only be crafted by people who learn the forge profession. I usually just buy these tools from the market as their cost isn't too high considering how effective they are. In the game uh, there are tools for gathering and tools for crafting, so if you're planning not just to gather, but also to craft, you'll need a second tool, crafting tool. A gathering tool increases the chance of getting higher quality resources, while crafting tools increase the chance of getting better gear, elixirs, materials and higher, uh, higher quality resources. So, before you start gathering resources or crafting anything, try to buy or craft these tools. A tip for newcomers. The forge profession is very popular and profitable, especially at the beginning of the game, as everyone el always needs uh, upgraded gathering and crafting tools. Also note that when you open a toolbox, you'll receive the tool required for the profession you've learned at that time. For, in, uh, for example, if you are a blacksmith, you won't get scissors from an alchemist or a drill from a jewelry, and vice versa. You can sell old tools as uh, they won't be needed anymore. So, for each profession you learn, you'll need to buy these tools. However, I strongly advise against trying to learn all profession at once, as vigor is limited, and you won't succeed that way. It's better to focus on one or maybe two related professions and develop them. We've covered where and how to gather and how to obtain higher quality resources. Now I'll tell you about additional rewards for gathering resources and how to maximize crafting efficiency. When you gather resources, there is a chance uh, you'll receive not only professional resources, but also resources you can donate to develop any territory in Terrasland, earning your uh, reputation rewards. It's a small reputation bonus that uh, you shouldn't ignore. Reputation is one of the most important aspects of Terrasland. Now, let's talk about how to maximize your chance of getting gear. Materials, resources and everything else when crafting in Tarisland. When crafting, you'll receive not only the crafting result and uh, profession points, but also artisan power. When you reach 300 artisan power, you'll receive artisan spirit. Artisan spirit provides a huge boost to crafting any gear, material or craftable item in Tarisland. You can't buy, sell or obtain artisan spirit anywhere except by gradually increasing your artisan power. Only use artisan spirit when it's really necessary or when you reach uh, the maximum artisan spirit level, as additional artisan power will be wasted. To increase your character's maximum artisan spirit, you'll need to upgrade the artifact Rubik's Cube, but that's a story for another video. I hope you found this interesting. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't enjoy it, feel free to dislike and leave an angry comment if it makes you feel better. In any case, thank you for your attention. It's a one hour gameplay channel. My name is Volodymyr. Thanks for watching. I wish you good health and best of luck. Goodbye.